Hey, uh, what's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. Good Monday afternoon, June 6, 2022 is the date. About 12, 14 p.m. California time. It is the Earthmaster here uh, with an update video on this beautiful day. 1.2 earthquake showing up into the area of Southern California. The latest earthquake there on the Earthquake 3D globe. Looking at the last 24 hours of activity. Shows a pretty good ramping up of earthquake activity down around the Kermadec Trench and the Tonga region. Been watching this area pretty closely considering all the six pointers we've seen up here to the, to the uh, north and also down here to the south. Kind of a little X marks the spot area for potential large scale movement here pretty soon. We are getting quite a bit of deep earthquake activity and also shallow uh, subsequent earthquake activity along the Kermadec Trench including a recent 5.2 within that zone. Got to watch that pretty closely. Definitely uh, could be looking at a larger scale earthquake here soon happening in that area. Uh, looks like the deepest earthquake so far in this uh, pretty good cluster. Looks to be a 4.4, about almost 550 kilometers down into the uh, subduction zone there in the region. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the area. Papua New Guinea seeing a little bit of activity today, including uh, looks like a 5.1 or just outside of there and a 4.7 within that area also out here around the Indonesia islands a 4.5 and a 4.8 kind of spread out within that region nothing showing up on the Java Trench area today at least on this part uh, outside of the Philippines got a little earthquake activity last night it was a 4.6 along the Philippine Trench there at about 127 kilometers down into it. East China Sea did see a 4.6 earlier. Look at that number, 1333. There's those 333s again. If you know, uh, you know a lot of significant numbers, um, uh, behind, uh, definitely meanings behind some certain number sequences there. Uh, Lucian Trench, some activity along there today with a 2.5 and above map. We'll go ahead and drop it down to the all magnitudes and uh, not a whole lot of uptick in movement throughout the Alaska region or the Aleutian Trench uh, following that activity we've seen, oh, a couple days ago where they had that 6.3. So far, we've only seen a handful of aftershocks within that region of the Rat Islands Aleutian area. Uh, Hawaii lighten up out here a little bit. Uh, southeastern region still showing quite a bit of earthquake activity. Nothing going on up here at the volcanoes currently. At least no major swarms going on. i uh, got some movement out here along the west coast, including uh, activity south of the Garlock Fault Zone. Seeing the red circles there indicating uh, some activity. It looks like one here on the San Andreas Fault too. A uh, 1.4 right smack dab on it. Uh, got to watch that pretty closely because it is getting close to the southern segment here of the San Andreas Fault. This area is capable of producing uh, at least an 8.1 magnitude earthquake. It's been well over 300 years since we've had a full rupture within this segment. But uh, yeah, definitely don't want to see anything popping on that anytime soon. But eventually, we all know it's going to happen. Uh, Lake Elsinore, uh, seeing a 0.9 Let's see here. Not a whole lot going on along the uh, Elsinore Fault System. Looks like a little swarming down here along the southern segment. See these earthquakes here in a little line of activity. Just some very small microquakes. Low activity around the San Jacinto Fault Zone as well. Down towards the southern segment. No major swarming to report around the Salton Sea. And areas of Northern California look pretty quiet. Uh, I had an earthquake up here last night around the Willow Creek area. This is in the Cascadia subduction zone. Looking at the depth there kind of tells us that at 23 kilometers for that 2.3. Uh, we did see a little earthquake outside of the Lassen National Park area, volcanic area, but well south. Nothing going on there specifically around Mount Lassen. Just a little earthquake outside of Mineral. 6.3 kilometers for a 1.1 Oregon and Washington area all looking absolutely quiet at least in terms of earthquake activity not a whole lot going on through the Great Basin area or the Intermountain West regions actually a little activity around Salt Lake City but just some microquakes kicking off there today uh, Texas the other story keep getting these fours kicking off out here 
Uh, we had another 4.3 in this region, also a four pointer well away from our normal swarming area, uh, just outside of the Big Spring, Texas area. Uh, this sits about uh, oh, 30 miles, 40 miles northeast of, <coughs> excuse me, goodness, of the uh, Midland area. It's been a while since I've sneezed here on the live stream. Hey, but it happens, right? I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. Either way, activity definitely kicking up here outside of this area. Um, this whole region has seen quite a bit of movement um, over the last week or so, including the 4.6 that we had here in Western Texas. Just an ongoing swarm of activity. It's in an area that has quite a bit of older uh, oil rig operations out here you can see it scattered out and about throughout the desert got these little ponds injection wells little tanks these are not farmhouses or little beautiful communities out here these are uh, indeed some um, pumping operations there's a newer one it looks like at least on this satellite view uh, within only a, a thousand feet or so of some earthquake activity but overall this whole region here is just a mess of of uh damage done to the surface look at all this area out here this is where the swarming is kicking up down there around where we would expect to see earthquake activity due to the uh the nature of these operations out here where the 4.3 struck today um hold on a second let me back out of here 4.3 struck that's in this little swarming area that i just showed you the four pointer up here looks like it's uh yeah look at all those folks there's uh there's a lot of these <clears throat> there might be some farmhouses out here maybe but looking closer at these these all have these little ponds and whatnot here and uh, a lot of these look like they're newer like i said some might be little farmhouses but there's a whole bunch of these operations out here look at all those you can distinctly see them and uh man they're all over the place so i expect this uh you know to eventually produce uh, fours on a common on any any day and possibly larger uh these earthquakes are occurring in these oil operation fields and there's lots of them all throughout texas oklahoma kansas uh eventually they're all gonna start showing a lot more activity as the pressure here along the north american plate continues to uh, build up just gonna happen new madrid zone here outside of the uh what is that willie ford hopefully i pronounced that correctly got a little bit of swarming going on here today see that got about six earthquakes or so uh so far the largest a 2.4 earthquake and this is in the area of the new madrid zone um kind of just outside of it the main area of the fault system here the zone sits within this kind of ugly yellow brown um region but the swarming activity still within there um even though it's in the yellow it's still within that new madrid seismic zone so kind of watching that uh closely as well not for sure what's up here in the satellite view let's go ahead and check that out uh these earthquakes are pretty deep though they're 15 kilometers or look, looks like about 15 kilometers um not for sure about any oil operations out here and they might be hard to spot um but yeah these i think these are just too far down there for um, oil operations i believe this is a uh, purely um the dynamics here of the of the uh, new madrid zone a lot of pressure increasing here we've seen it down here obviously it's building up here further inland and um, right around the new madrid zone eastern part of the country looks pretty quiet puerto rico not a whole lot going on here today just southwestern edge continual swarm of activity uh, that we've been noting for quite a while south america region nothing showing up here on the 4.0 or above level the atlantic ocean all calm and clear from north to south at least 4.0 and above the uh, activity out here uh albania had an earthquake uh late last night uh looks like a 4.5 and a little activity here in afghanistan again 4.2 towards the mountains there at about almost 70 kilometers down into the area uh, looking at the latest here on the Yellowstone National Park, 
area. Uh, not seeing too much going on here today. No swarming to note. Some technical errors there at the Little West Thumb region and up north here as well. The trimmer map from last night showed a little increase, about 348 epicenters of trimmer along the Cascadia subduction zone. And of course, volcanic activity here at Mount St. Helens was still looking uh, pretty active. Not, I shouldn't say volcanic activity, but it's earthquake activity at a volcano, right? But these are earthquakes, kind of microquakes here going on at the um, volcano. So I can't call it volcanic activity. We looked at the GPS movements. It all still shows a subsidence of the uh, of any uplift. It's, it's not uplifting at all, uh, showing down uh, downward trend. So these earthquakes here, definitely a lot of them, but uh, I think that's got to do with uh, just general fault systems around this area and the subsidence of the uh, caldera region. But still, we will continue to watch it, monitor it um, here uh, moving forward. EMSC model looking at uh, last 50 earthquakes or so in this area. Oh, 35 earthquakes or so. There's that 5.4. I think the, uh, didn't the USGS downgrade that? Hold on a second here. Let's see what that was. I think they said it was a 5.2. Okay, EMSC showing a little bit larger, a 5.4. But I still think this area is something to watch pretty closely. Uh, looking over here around South America, these guys are showing some movement, including a 4.2 recently along the uh, Peru Chile Trench and also a 4.3 up north. So a little bit of activity not being reported here from the USGS and a uh, little activity ongoing throughout the Middle America Trench, it looks like. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Earthquakes Canada map. Double check that. Let's see what's going on up here to the neighbors on the north. This area definitely showing uh, a little activity building here along the Pacific Plate and the Explorer Plate, little micro plate here boundary. A couple small earthquakes, the 3.0, and um, a couple other smaller ones up to the north. The most recent one shows some movement down south here uh, with another 3.0. Looks like right there on the plate boundary. Right across this area here where the... Uh, Explorer plate and the Juan de Fuca plate kind of meet right across in this region. Explorer plate right here. Uh, Gorda plate down south. A lot of people look at this as just the Juan de Fuca plate in general, but there's actually three micro plates here. Um, Explorer, Juan de Fuca, and the uh, uh, Gorda plate down south. Better known as the Cascadia subduction zone, right? That's definitely something got to watch pretty closely, that's for sure considering that's where I'm at. I'm out here. Not specifically on it, but man, here in Northern California, we would definitely feel anything that uh, took place there. So it looks like uh, we got a little bit of activity. Uh, this article put out this morning from the uh, solarham.net website. What appears to be a minor shock passage was just detected by the uh, Discover spacecraft, the BZ component of the interplanetary magnetic field. Uh, is tipped south at the moment and this could boost geomagnetic activity once it arrives past earth within the hour it looks like we did see that earlier a little bit of amplification there on the kp index and the aurora uh, kind of responded here on the map um, aside from that uh, no major solar flares popping off looking at the solar x-ray chart here uh, doesn't show too much going on here the forecast looks pretty dim and bleak in terms of any flaring the three day three day geomagnetic forecast looks about the same as well no major coronal holes that i can note here uh, that are facing this area unfortunately it is what it is and sunspot activity is uh, almost none on the earth side of the sun so these are very small and not anything to uh to hope for uh, just pretty pretty calm folks all right, guys, uh, we'll chat you a little bit later tonight. Got a busy day here. It is Monday. I know the dreaded Monday. Just uh, got a lot of outdoor stuff to do. Uh, I was looking at a couple different volcanoes kicking up here. As far as volcano no, uh, news goes, looks like a couple earthquake or uh, volcanoes on this update that was put out today. 
couple different ones. Uh, this one here kind of looks like it's around Peru. Had a uh, little explosive activity. Uh, volcanic Ash Advisory Center in Bu uh, Buenos Aires warned about a volcanic ash plume that rose up to about 22,000 feet um, from this volcano. Uh, Sabanacaya? Oh man, I probably slaughtered it. But that's all right. That's why I don't pronounce these uh, <laughs> volcano names. There's a lot of different volcanoes and they got some uh, interesting names here. Also, this latest one, uh, what is that, Ibu? This one here looks pretty, uh, let's see what they got here. It's in the Indonesia area, a couple different volcanoes here throughout the region, Colombia as well, Ecuador. Of course, I've seen one around the Philippines as well, uh, Peru all this activity all a little bit of heightened earthquake or uh, volcanic activity here from uh, these specific volcanoes uh, ecuador i've uh, seen a little bit of activity as well so but uh as far as the states go there's not a whole lot going on throughout our area um alaska region i don't believe we have too much going on looks like uh, this article was put out here from yesterday at the Alaskan Volcano Observatory. A couple different ones uh, kicking up here. Still remaining uh, watch in orange for the Great Sitkin Volcano. It uh, looks like a few small local earthquakes were detected uh, along with slightly elevated surface temperatures and clear satellite imageries, uh, images. So still watching that one pretty closely. That's remaining at the watch in orange levels. So is the uh, Pavlov Volcano. Uh, it looks like it continues to erupt from the vent on the east flank just below the volcano summit. Seismic tremor and elevated surface temperatures were observed over the last day and reflect continued eruption of a small lava flow on the upper part of the volcano. This one here I'm not even going to attempt. I did it one time and I think I maybe pronounce it once out of uh, uh, 20 times that I've attempted. But uh, low level eruptive activity continues with small explosions and intermittent tremor detected in seismic and infrasound uh, data over the past day. So a um, little bit of heightened movement there at that volcano. Uh, this one here, no significant seismic or infrasound uh, activity. So this one's kind of sitting at an advisory in yellow. Uh, so that's it for the uh, Alaskan volcanoes, at least for that up update that was put out there. But uh, aside from that, folks, we're going to get off here and I'll catch you guys a little bit later on tonight for the update hope everyone enjoys their day out there and stay safe a lot of activity like I said pressing up against the the uh, North American plate right now with all the activity inland in Texas but also at the same time here folks I think the Kermadec Trench area got to watch that pretty closely we've seen some large-scale movement north and south uh, with only some minimal adjustment uh, and now 5.4 the latest on the uh, globe there from that area so things kind of tightening up there and possibly looking at maybe some larger scale movement. We'll keep an eye on it. And of course, any uh, thing that does happen, we'll update it here on the channel. Till then, take, uh, take care, guys. We'll chat you a little bit later. Peace out.